Hey everyone, welcome to the Dynamic Duo Podcast. In today's episode, Anya and I are diving into something that is close to both of our hearts, growth groups and accountability partners. Whether you are striving for personal or professional development, having the right support can make all the difference of the world. In this episode, Anya and I share our stories, the challenges that we are facing or we have faced and the incredible benefits of having someone who keep us on track. So trust me, this conversation could be the spark you need to find your own accountability partner or coaching group. So stick around and let's grow together. And welcome back to the Dynamic Duo Podcast. Anya, did you have a great week behind you? I did. <laughs> I did. Did you accomplish a lot of things? Yes, actually, I did accomplish a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were telling me off camera, you did a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, I was right? telling, I was having like a motivational, um, how do you say, boost I yesterday. Know. <laughs> you were on a roll, you were on a roll. So congratulations. Yes. Did you grow? That's a, maybe we should ask each other that question and, and ask our audience, did you grow this last week since our last uh, podcast? I did. I would say I did grow. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. I think I did. Um, I, I Part of my growth was it became clear to me this week in how many other areas waste shapes and forms, I still need to grow. But I believe, you know, diagno uh, finding the, the areas uh, of, of opportunity is also a way of growing. So, but yeah, I, I, in general, I think I did. I think it's a big part of growing, actually. Um, it, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, a good, it's a good pain. It's a good type of pain. <laughs> And of course, we are excited. The topic of today is a, is a very good one. And, you know, I'm a, I always say at the beginning of our podcast that I really, I'm really excited about uh, our podcast and, and happy to see you and, and excited about that, you know, uh, the, the, the things that we are doing and so on and so forth. But it's more than a cliche. And that's our topic today. It, it, it is really true. It's, it's authentic, what I, what I say, because every time I talk to you, when we get together, um, we record our podcast and we hope to offer value to our audience to, through the things that we do. And we prepare ourselves as good as we can. You know, we, we do our research. We, uh, we, we work on... On, on many different things behind these scenes, you know, people, do, it's, it's not necessary to mention those, but we invest ourselves in this uh, uh, podcast. But for me, thinking about the topic today, it's a blessing because, uh, like I said, having an accountability partner, and I see you, you're like an, an uh, unofficial accountability partner for me right because yeah. you keep me you keep me on my toes Anya you know like oh, okay we have to do this we have to do that we have to plan we have to get ready for the podcast and this and that and many other things that we do behind the scenes and, and every now and then I ask you for advice you know I ask you or maybe I, I just want to air some thoughts in my head whatever and and I feel refreshed and I feel fresh, and I and I think that's a blessing. You know, it's it's more than work. <laughs> it, it is truly a blessing, and that's our topic today. We're going to talk about the importance of having an accountability partner, or a belo or belonging slash belonging to a growth group. And there are many types of growth groups, many type of uh, accountability partners. So, that's our topic today. What do you think? Uh, I. Agree. I totally agree. I told you off camera 
last I think it was last week you um talked about how you started to learn German and that actually motivated me to do the same in Spanish and refresh my words in Spanish so you helped me spark a fire to get back on track with my Spanish so that's that was one one way you are my accountability partner like you motivate me and then probably in a few weeks you're you're gonna ask me how's your Spanish <laughs> I'm gonna ask you next so. week <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean that's yep. we have a on-camera accountability partnership and I think we both have off-camera accountability partnerships and growth groups that keep us on our toes and I love that it's just an amazing thing to have yes it, it is really truly a, a good thing to have and I remember talking about the importance of having more than one and the, and, and, and variations of accountability partners you know, uh, for example, um, people, of course, people that we trust, people that we know, people that we respect, but also the uh, the importance of uh, an, a group in accountability, well, a coaching group, there are many types of groups, you know, a support group, uh, what, what else, uh, what else do we have out there? Just mastermind groups, mastermind groups. And uh, and so on. I mean, what is that again? Book clubs, maybe. Book, yeah, book clubs. Yeah, things like that, right? Where where people come together and and they exchange ideas. They are they are they feel safe to share their uh, their ideas, their doubts. They uh, they share questions, uh, and they find just more moral support and so on and so forth. Uh, but this is not a common practice, not for many people, mm -hmm. at least in some culture. What do you think? Yeah, I think a lot of people don't use it yet, the power of growth groups. Let's yeah. Call them. Yeah, because I think a lot of people don't really know why or maybe don't even know it exists or right. what kind of groups exist. Maybe they would be interested if they knew more about mm. or they knew that there are topics that interest them. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I, I was just thinking about, for example, the way I grew up and, mm. and the kind of support you found in a community, right, with your neighbors. And, and, and I grew up in my early years in my, in my childhood in Mexico. I grew up in a, in a, in a kind of, um, I, yeah, I, don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, but if you watch films from Mexico from, from the 40s and, and the 60s, uh, you will find these types of buildings and, and housings where, where people really live very close to each other, you know, in a very close envir environment. With a lot of space, with but but very close to each other, and I remember those days uh, in the evenings where when when families will get together and, and when the sun went down and and they just will sit outside and, and 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 chat with each other and talk to each other and the kids will play together, and if one person was sick, you know the whole neighborhood came together and, and help each other and so on and so forth. It was a very beautiful uh, type of childhood. In our days, I think that's that's kind of lost because of our individuality, which is not a bad thing, but I think the pursuit of individuality had also uh, a negative side. What do you think about that? Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think oftentimes we feel like this we have to be independent and um i don't know self sufficient is mm -hmm. that the right word mm -hmm. uh, which is good mm -hmm. in a way but it can be taken too far because right. after all we're 
we're made for relationship. We're made to be together and to to have people, close people to that we can relate to and be in community with. And I think that's, yeah, I think that's a lost art to be to, to be in this community and to live like you just described. That's something not a lot of people experience, and it's very sad. Mm -hmm. I remember talking to my wife. Uh, my wife in in Germany. I believe in 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 Switzerland. It's the same thing. We have something that is they are called. I don't know. I don't know what that's in English, but uh, arts helferin. Um, arts yes. helferin is like a medical assistant or something like that. Is that yeah. a, like a, a probably a, a profession also in in the states or in England? I don't know, but. The translation will be like a medical assistance, which is like a, you know, some some of responsibilities are medical responsibilities and 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 office responsibilities. It's like a mix of of, of duties. Anyways, but uh, she was telling me that that uh, often um, this this uh, praxis, this um, yeah, doctor pra um, I'm I'm forgetting the word in English. This uh, the praxis, not like where the doctor's uh, office. Uh, they will have like regulars, usually old ladies or old uh, elderly gentlemen that will come for a regular visit. Uh, you know, often, you know, maybe like twice a week. But um, they they notice, even the doctor notice that often the people will come just be, just to have social contact, not necessarily mm -hmm. because they will they were sick. You know, they, yeah. you know, I have I, regular checkups, you know, or maybe they have a little pain here or whatever, but it, it was probably more of that social aspect, which is, uh, and, and this is scary because uh, a few years ago, I read a statistics in Germany. I don't know if that changed, but in this uh, data, it, it was said that 40% of Germans lived alone. Which which is really scary when you think about it, like because and due to different different circumstances, they live alone. Either they don't have family, or maybe they are forgotten for, from the family, or I don't know. Um, they, they live in an asylum, whatever, many reasons. But that's sad and scary. For forty percent of Germans live alone. I think it's even, there are statistics um, about people that say they're lonely or they don't have one, even one close friend. That's also like, I don't know the numbers, but I was shocked mm. when I heard them. Um, yeah, I think that's that's a big problem in our time that a lot of people feel lonely and feel like they don't have anybody to go to when, when they have a problem. Right. And I think that's very sad. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, I think, even more important that we have people around us and that we actively look for groups that share the same interests. And if you're interested in growth, that's why a growth group makes a lot of sense or an accountability partner. I mean, you don't have to start with a group. You can start with one person that just has the same interests as you and wants to talk about the same topics as you because I think mm. it's yeah that's so important right so right. many people feel lonely and feel alone in their journey mm. and it can get very lonely mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be that way that's right and 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 like I said there are many reasons why people are lonely or alone the, the, thanks for making that um, uh, distinction and uh, or a combination of both, you know, they're alone and lonely because people might be alone in this world. You know, they don't, they might not have family, but but not necessarily lonely. They have a lot of social contacts and friends and and activities, and and that's a good thing. And and that's what we are talking about. Um, that um, we are social beings, and and staying in touch is a part of life to keep us young, to keep us healthy, to keep us engaged and keep growing really i mean i believe i'm i i think we grow un until the day we die in in many different shapes ways and forms uh, we are on an, an eternal journey of growth i think um of course the, the different levels of growth uh, 
you know, I assume on the deadbed is it's very different. You know, we might. I think you mentioned once uh, something, a reflection that I that I think is valid and and real that people at the end of their lives they 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 reflect and think a lot about of course the way they live how much mm -hmm. their time is how they spend their time with whom doing what and uh and, and and that that means to me you know even until the last day we are on a on on, on a growth journey but mm -hmm. uh, but let us uh, really quick talk about um, some of the benefits. What do you think? What are some of the benefits? And we want to encourage our audience. I mean, we probably should do another episode on this topic, uh, trying to offer some ideas about how uh, different options for 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 all of us uh, to belong, to find connection, and 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 to be engaged with other people. But let us take a really quick about some of the benefits of belonging to a growth group. What do you think are some of them? Um, I think one other benefit would be other perspectives. Mm. Because sometimes we're in our own little world and we only see the things the way we see them. Mm -hmm. We don't think outside of the box or we, mm -hmm. we don't know all of the outside of the box, right. but other people, especially when there's, when you go to a growth group and you ask a question and everybody gives in their, their opinion or their tips or how they do it, right. you see ways or realize things that you never thought of. And you probably couldn't have thought of because you don't have the experience or whatever you do you just grew up differently mm. and when you have a group or one person that can share their way of doing things you can pick and choose the right things for yourself and try different things and see different perspectives and that's that's very valuable in my absolutely opinion. absolutely i think you're totally right and you made me think about another one uh that is very close or related to that one that you just mentioned. And I think it's that shared knowledge. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you get different perspectives, but also on knowledge, because I don't know everything. You don't know everything. The other person do not know everything in life. So when we come together in a, in a, in a kind of support group, in a growth group, we can learn from each other and, and share from our experience, from from our background, from our line of studies, line of work, and so on and so forth. You know, like, hey, by the way, I don't know, you know, I had this problem uh, and I don't know how to solve it. Oh, maybe someone in that group can help us. So share knowledge, that will be another benefit, I think. Let us share another one. Do you have another one before, before we leave? Um, I would say also that you have people who check in with you regularly that's can be painful but it's good <laughs> you mean the 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 action of giving being accountable yes or, yeah okay mm -hmm. i think that's a, a huge benefit because sometimes we lose motivation we we're not as disciplined as we mm. would like to be and to have someone who can bring in motivation and you I feel like if you have an accountability partner you have to be brutally honest because mm. we all fall down it's mm. not something to be ashamed of or something mm. but mm. if you're honest then the other person can can help you get up again and yeah. that's a lot easier than just pick yourself up a load for for all the time it's just to mm. our better room. Absolutely. You're stronger together. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Very nice. Well, I know we uh, we have come to the to the end of this podcast, but um we would like to encourage our, our viewers to maybe like send us uh, their questions in this topic. Do you want to uh, have the last word before we leave? 
Yes, I would like to encourage you to find an accountability partner or a growth group. And if you don't know where to start, check out the description box. Maybe our growth group would be the right fit for you. And just book a discovery call so we can discuss everything off camera. With the peer Augen. There's gentlemen for one on one. One on one, yes. <laughs> But it's just four eyes. Four eyes, right. <laughs> That's, that's an interesting uh, picture, uh, you know, like under four eyes. Yeah. Uh, you get the idea. <laughs> well, thank you, Anya. And uh, to our audience, to all of you, thank you for uh, visiting our podcast. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And until the next episode, we wish you all a successful and blessed day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.